Hi, Amy. I'm in your kitchen now, and so we thought we'd have a little fun in your kitchen. And we know this is your beautiful center island that you do all your cooking at, so we thought we wanted to provide a little bit of holiday decor, decor in your kitchen, too. So right behind me here, Amy's got these awesome cupboards that have open soffits. So we did a couple pieces up there that are absolutely beautiful with pine, a little bit of ivy to bring lightness into it. Carried, once again, the red and the um, chartreuse green berries. Added some pomegranates in it and just made two toppers, and of course you could fill other spaces too, but we kind of wanted to frame in this area because this is where she cooks, and so we also added this beautiful wreath that overlooks uh, her wonderful patio and out into the woods here. Added the berries into it. Honeysuckle gives it such a great shape, and then there's pine cones and other natural fun things in it, and we just hang it, hung it with a red bow. But today what I'd like to do for her is I'd like to make Amy a special bouquet. So we have this great red painted tin colander here that you can buy at a lot of different places and they come in tons of different colors. And the great thing about this type of container to put a fresh arrangement in is, is, is that it will be a gift for them afterwards. Unlike a vase or a basket that you seem to collect a lot of in your house, this is something that somebody's going to keep for a long time. Now, what we're going to do is um, we're going to um, do an arrangement in here, and I have it just in a clear saucer, so it's just sitting in here. But I want to show you some of the fun things we can put in it. Um, you, you, you could come and bring us the decanter yourself to Marshall Florist, and we'd be happy, happy to design a floral for you. We can add all kinds of fun gifts into it. This is an oil decanter. We could put um, hot pads in it, and we have all these wonderful utensils. Um, whisks and rolling pins and graters and scoopers and uh, cheese cutters and all kinds of fun things that could go in here. But when we are designing a floral um, for something that would be fun out of a kitchen colander, we'd also like to maybe use some food or some fruit. So bags of candy would be fun to put in it or maybe some apples would be fun. And now all I'm doing is adding some greens to it. And we're going to just start with some basic greens and then we're going to add some pine and some cedar to it so that we can cover our oasis and fill it out a little bit, and then we'll add some fruit and some flowers and some other fun things. We do have um, great little gifts that could be added to it too. We carry um, some lines of candy that go great with floral arrangements, but the great thing about the colander is, is that somebody's going to keep that for a long time and use it in their kitchen, so if you have somebody that is a good cook or um, really, really could use a beautiful colander like this, this is a great idea. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just stick a couple of these things actually in it right now, only because then they'll take up their space and we're going to push it right down into the foam like this. And we've got a little cheese slicer here that we're going to put here like that. And I think for the time being, we will leave that just like that. Now I thought it would be fun to bring some Bells of Ireland in because I like the green and the red contrast once again. And these guys are just so interesting. They just move whichever way and have real, real nice shapes to them. And they're really exotic and fun to use. So we're going to just put a few of these in here. And then I'm kind of thinking we're going to do some red roses. And I have these gorgeous, gorgeous red roses that are opening. You always want to pick a rose that's opening a little bit more because you never know if those tight ones are ever going to open. So don't be afraid to pick a, a, a more open rose when you're at a florist shop. And we're just going to sporadically put these red roses into this arrangement. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking off the um, thorns. So one, it's protecting me, and two, it's protecting the person that the arrangement's actually going to. And the colanders come in so many different colors. You could do this for a birthday. You could do this for Easter. You could do it for Thanksgiving. But we just because we're here decorating for the holidays at Amy's, I thought the red colander with the red roses would be very pretty. So now this is where we're at with our arrangement right here. We've got Bells of Ireland and roses in it. We've got a couple little um, gifts items in here. And what I'm going to do is I just brought along some really beautiful wax flower. And this is a filler flower. And it actually is purple. But they have dyed it, so now we're seeing a little bit of a purple and red theme going on here. And that is a really, really great look. So we're just going to dot that into the arrangement here. And you could add ribbons. You could add all kinds of other things. And we're going to do this here and fill this out a little bit. And just add a few more pieces here. And then we're going to add our little surprise um, Thing, is we're going to tuck some green apples in it because I think the contrast of the green apples with the uh, beautiful red colander will be real nice. I think I need a couple more pieces of greens here. Put in a little bit of pine, a little bit of cedar. 
We carry all different kinds of greens during the holiday season, so they make for really, really beautiful arrangements. And now what we're going to do is we've got some great green apples here. And you could use red if you want to, but we have wooden picks here like this, and we're just going to push them into the green apple so that I can actually pick them right into the arrangement at different levels. And you just carefully put them on the pick, and then the picks go in the oasis really nice, and then the wood actually swells from the water of the floral foam and holds them right in place. They are a remarkable little tool for a florist to use here. So I have about four apples in here, and I think maybe just another sprig of filler flower here, and then we'll have our bouquet for Amy made. And please remember that you can bring a colander or any type of other fun cooking pieces to Marshall Florist, and over the holidays we will be happy to uh, create something beautiful for you, too. Alrighty, two more pieces. And there you go, there's Amy's bouquet.